G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking how to work out fractions of an unknown number. It's a fairly simple sort of thing to do once you get the hang of it. The type of question we're going to be having a look at are ones like this. Okay, so say you were asked three quarters of what number is equal to 12. Now, when we're doing these, I think it's a... Uh, look. I'm just going to go through a brief explanation of this fraction. A few people tend to get thrown by these, and I think it's really, really important when you're looking at a fraction, you understand a few things. The first bit is there's two parts to it, obviously, a uh, you know, top part and a bottom part, denominator, numerator, if you get into that sort of jargon. But what we're going to be realising with these top and these bottom numbers is this. The first off, that part when we talk about three quarters, what we're doing is we're talking about something a number being divided up four ways okay so this is a dividing number here and then we're talking when we talk about this top number it's how many lots of this we're getting so okay this is like a timesing number so we could say we're getting three quarters of a cake we're talking about how we'd cut it up divide it four ways and then we're talking about three groups of this so we're the dividing and then we're timesing okay so if you can understand that that's pretty a, a pretty good thing to get so we're going to be trying to get this number, basically we're trying to get this part by itself, so we're trying to get this number over here. So to do that, we do the opposite of what these numbers are doing at the moment. So this is a timesing number, it's going to become a dividing number. At the moment this is a dividing number, it's going to become a timesing number. Okay, so if you can remember that and, and, and take that in, you'll be pretty right. So, when we do this, it's quite simple to do now. We go 12 divided by 3, which is 4, times 4 is 16. Our answer is 16. Okay, so let's have a look at another one of these. So hopefully you understood that. That's okay. If you didn't, we'll, uh, we'll go through another one. Uh, what about we do 2 fifths of an unknown number is equal to 18. Okay, so again, I think you should be able to look at this straight away and say, okay, this is our timesing number and this is our dividing number over this side. So we're going to be doing the opposite to 18 with these. We're going to be dividing by 2 and timesing by 5. 18 divided by 2 is 9 times 5, 9 fives are 45. 2 fifths of 45 is 18. Correct answer too. All right, let's have a look at one more of these. These are really simple, right? Okay, let's have a look at it. Uh, say we had five eighths of Mr. Unknown number here, and that is equal to 35. All right. Again, at the moment, be thinking this is our dividing number, this is our timesing number, so we're going to be <laughs> doing the opposite. We're going to go 35 divided by 5, and we're going to be timesing our answer by 8. So 35 divided by 5, which is 7 times 8 is 56. And funnily enough, look, you could do this in the opposite order. You could go uh, 35 times 8 and then divide your answer by 5 and you get the same answer. I just think it's often a lot easier to, to deal with smaller numbers so we're dividing in that sort of deal. Okay, so hopefully that was uh, an explanation you understand on how to do these sorts of questions. And anyway, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.